The options for choosing lighting in your shop today are honestly endless. There's a thousand things to choose from on Amazon and multiple other places. So finding the right light for your shop can be fairly difficult. On our channel, we have a bunch of deformable lights that we went through, tested them out with a Lux meter, and we have a lot of results from that that are actually surprising. And I'll put a link to that video in the description. In this video, we're gonna compare a very large 150 watt 15,000 lumen cob light to a smaller deformable light. This is an 80 watt. This does have a dusk to dawn feature on it, which would be nice for outside if you wanted something on at night uh, with the photo cell. But either way, we want to just see what's going to happen inside this shop as far as where the lighting goes. So stick with us as we test this out. This is a 24 by 40 pole barn, and we have six of these lights evenly distributed throughout the roof. The camera is currently sitting in the center of the barn approximately. You can see with these lights, we do get some shadows and we do get some dark areas in the corners. And that's something that I'm hoping to fix with the cob lights, but what I don't know what's gonna happen with the cob lights is are we gonna get the same amount of light straight down? That's gonna be very important to us just to see what kind of working conditions we're gonna have. Now I have these lights set up on about a 30 degree angle up there and they're, they could be moved more so the lights shine outward further. But again, no white walls here, simply just the OSB finish it's just cold storage, so we're not getting a lot of reflection of light inside. As far as shadows go, there are some, but it's not bad. What we're gonna do right now is walk around with our light meter here, and we'll just make a standard sweep so that it is going to be the same with both. Just to give you an idea, of what happens and we really drop down in the Lux range when we go through everything here. Now I'm gonna screenshot this so it doesn't change. You can see when we look at this, we had a 294 average and 833 max. That's something that we need to look at because we're gonna continue with the cob lights to see what happens there. So these cob lights are a simple install. They'll work for an E26 or an E29 outlet. These are E26, so we're just gonna screw them in, turn them back on, and give you the results. All right guys, this is highly unrecommended to unscrew a light bulb while it's turned on and turn it back in, but I wanna show you the difference between just one of these light bulbs in this shop and how much it lights up the corners. So I'm gonna drop down so I'm not blocking it. You can see the corner back here was lit up so much just by one that it's very impressive. When we turn this off, it's a significant difference all the way around the whole shop. I can't imagine what it's gonna be like when we add the rest of them in. So the corn bulbs are in, and it is a significant difference, not only in the way the light comes down in the comfort factor, but about how much light is spread around through the corners in the differences between what you can see and what you had little dark areas in before. Very significant, I hope that shows up well on the camera. Now let's see if it shows up on our light lux meter that we have here. We'll reset it and walk around. And I will again screenshot it. So here we show a 208 average, 347 max, down significantly in what is actually shown. So light-wise, we had an 833 max before. And if I go back to my screenshots so we can look at them, it's, it's surprising to see that we're down, but at the same point, this is what we had. 
So we were at 294 average, 833 max, but we had a minimum of 35. That's a big deal. Here we had a 347 max, a 208 average, and a 123 minimum. So we're not getting that low side that we had before of 35 where we had the dark areas, especially when we hit the corners, we're getting more light around. And while this lux meter isn't showing it, basically because we don't have the light pointing directly down going into the phone, we're getting a more comfortable light. So if you're looking for something in your shop that's going to be good for working around or good to light up certain areas, but not going to be just blowing light completely straight down, this is definitely a way to go. They're $39 a piece, which they are expensive and they are 150 watts, 15,800 lumens, uh, that 5,000 uh, K, okay. so that's a warehouse style light, pretty white, borderline on blue. You don't see blue at all, you see a very white light that's up there. I would have to look at this and say, I might split it up between the two and say, okay, I want some areas where the light's shining straight down with a couple deformables and maybe a couple of these cobs up there that are helping getting the light out. And again, if we had white walls or if we had a finished wall that was painted, I think we'd have a lot different outcome, probably even with the light meter. But comfort wise walking in, there is zero doubt in what I would choose. So if you have a shop with taller ceilings, again, this is a 24 by 40, six lights in here and 12 foot ceilings. I would not put these in if you had eight foot ceilings. I think they would start to get in your line of sight and they're pretty bright. You don't want to look at them. So taller ceilings, finished walls, this is definitely the way to go or grab one or two of them, pop them in the middle of your shop and that'll help get light all the way around. I think that's another great idea that's out there. Let's pan around this room quick. I'm going to show you what it's like to have four of these in and then we'll put two of the other deformables in back and just give you an idea of what you'll see if you mixed and matched. So at the back of the shop, we put up two of the deformables and then we have four of the corn style bulbs in the front. And I think this gives you a great idea of what you can actually see as far as a difference. Maybe a little bit more of the downward light as we stand underneath the deformable. And as you move forward underneath some of the corn style bulbs, you don't get that straight downward light on you. And you get less shadowing, which I think is important, especially if you're working. But it does make a huge difference in the comfort factor as you stand underneath this light you feel a little bit more under the spotlight per se. And if you're working, it's just comforting, I think, to not have that light coming straight down on you. So these are definitely something that you should look at if it's just to fill an area with light or not. Uh, I don't think this is gonna show up quite as well on camera as what it is in person, but I can tell you it is 100% impressive and I'll stake my reputation on that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll try to help you go through what I would do in certain situations. I know nobody's garage is exactly the same and I'll try to walk you through some of the experiences that I've had with the different lights. We did link some other videos that we did on different lights below, so check them out also. I'll also link to the exact lights that I'm using here so you can find them on Amazon. As always, we appreciate your time, guys. Give us a like in this video, subscribe to the channel. As always, have a great day.